It's Kyle, and in today's video, we're looking at a rotating time-lapse space for your GoPro camera. This one was sent to me by the guys over at China Buy. They asked me to take a look at it, and it had one really interesting feature, and that's the fact that they said it was suitable for even cameras up to small DSLR. So I've tried it out with one of those. You can see right here, we've got a, this is a D80 with a Sigma 10 to 20 millimeter lens on it, and as you can hear, it is clicking around, but it's a little bit tricky to make it work properly with a camera this heavy. Because of the fact that the DSLR has the lens on the front of it, there is a fair amount of force pushing down Aww. on the camera, and you can see that the time-lapse base here is being forced down the front quite a lot. Now, this is okay as long as you keep the camera perfectly level. It seems to make the rotations without getting stuck, but if you make the slightest adjustment to it and have it off level, the load becomes too much and it um, totally ceases to rotate and then sometimes the lens will get away on it and bad things start to happen. So it's not quite powerful enough to uh, push a full-sized SLR like they were saying it would be. I wasn't really expecting it would be, but it does work absolutely great for our GoPro camera. So we'll set one of those up on it right now. So the rotating time-lapse space comes with a quarter by 20 inch bolt on the top and a thread for a tripod on the bottom. This is what's really cool about this mount. It's not really that different than the DIY rotating time-lapse space I've showed you guys how to build before. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. It's linked in the video description. It shows how to make one of these DIY for about half the price of this mount, but what it doesn't have is this pre-installed quarter by 20 inch thread. So this is cool. It's heavier than the one, the DIY one, and it is a fairly solid metal feeling construction, but the guts of it are just a rotating kitchen timer. When you rotate it, it makes a clicking sound. And when it starts rotating back, it does make that clicking sound as well. And then when it hits zero, it does let you know by ringing a bell. Now, you could make the argument the bell is let you know the time lapse is done, but I'm pretty sure it's just because the guts of this are exactly the same as a standard kitchen timer. In order to mount our GoPro camera, you do need a tripod mount. There is no tripod mount included, so you take your tripod mount, you thread it onto the top of the mount, then you hook on your GoPro camera, thread in your bolt, and just like that, your GoPro camera is mounted on to the rotating time-lapse. It takes one hour to do a complete rotation, just like it does with the DIY kitchen timer. And honestly, the results you get from it are going to be identical. The difference is if you're the kind of person who likes to do things DIY, or you're the kind of person who likes to spend a little bit more money and get a unit which is fully built for you, self-contained and works with other point and shoot cameras. It, while it may not work great, and it does work, but it just may not work great with a full-sized SLR, it does work with small point and shoot cameras because it has a quarter by 20 inch thread on the top of it, meaning you can mount it to almost any camera you possibly can imagine. So it's gonna work with any of those as well as a GoPro via a GoPro tripod mount. So that's a feature that's really unique to this mount and something that other or the DIY version at least doesn't do. The thread on the bottom of it is also really great because it means you can mount it onto a tripod. Doing this with the DIY version is doable. I show you how to do it down in the video description on the second video, but it's a little bit more tricky and it comes out being a plastic thread on the DIY one, whereas this is a fully aluminum mount, so fully aluminum construction and it does feel fairly solid. Guys, this was the rotating time-lapse base for your GoPro camera. It's available from China Buy. You can find it linked down in the video description. It's an awesome mount, and I'm a huge supporter of adding motion into time-lapses using this kind of rotating time-lapse base. You can see all the sample video that I'm showing right now was all taken with rotating time-lapse bases. That was all taken with the DIY one, but again, the results from this will be exactly the same as that. So adding motion to time-lapses is never a bad thing. It makes them a little bit more interesting. It allows you to track things around the image and it's just an all-round cooler way to shoot 
time lapses. Guys, thanks for watching. This was another GoPro tips and tricks video. If you've enjoyed it, please make sure you subscribe, check out my channel for lots more videos and like the video. Until next time, thank you very, very much for watching.